on, chop, chop, we're mustering the troops. Oh, I'm going to get this over with quickly, I'm starving. Have a cake. I don't eat pink food. <laughs> See, sugar craving, lustrous hair. What? The signs of pregnancy. Call yourself a GP. I haven't missed anything, have I? Does anyone want a cupcake? Oh, thanks. Oh, come on out with it. The suspense is killing us. OK, I won't keep you long. Good. All right, so one really comes any surprise to you that uh, I am very lucky the cherry put up with me. Oh, <laughs> the other way round. Yeah, but I bet it isn't his hair that's bunging up the plug hole, eh? Oh, that's oh. nice. Spoil the moment with plumbing. <laughs> so I asked her to marry me. <laughs> well, I said yes. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well done, Mary. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Thank it won't freeze. I asked my friend who's in there, she said it was my washing powder. Have you still got the cat? No, we ran away. I see. Well, take a seat. This is Dr. Wilson. She's going to be taking your consultation today. I'll just be observing. So, forget that I'm here. <clears throat> um, hi, I'm Dr. Wilson. You know that already. How, how can I help you? Um, well, I had a, an accident last night. Okay. With a thingy. Thingy? Johnny. Condom? Yeah. It's split. Right. So, I've come for the pill thingy just in case. You want emergency contraception? That's what I said. Have you taken it before? Oh, well, yeah. Once, ages ago. And when was your last period? Um, two weeks ago. That's why I come straight in, because that's the time you have to be careful, in it. Yeah, you know, you did good to act straight away. Um, the pill that I'm going to give you is effective for 72 hours, but it's got a higher success rate the sooner you take it. You might feel a bit sick. That's totally normal. But if you are sick within the first two hours, then give us a call, because you might need to take another pill. OK. Uh, there might be some bleeding and your period might be a little bit late. OK, thanks. Hang on, we need to talk about contraception. Do we? Yeah, the emergency type is just for emergencies, not normal prevention. I do know all that. Oh, you do? Then you know that condoms are slightly less effective than other methods, as you found out. Look, easiest thing is the contraceptive implant. It's a flexible little rod that's inserted under the skin in your upper arm. Oh, thanks. I don't want anything in me. OK. Well, there's the pill. Uh, by pill, we normally mean the combined type. I don't want pill either. It gives me headaches. Headaches? Do you mean migraines? Because if that's the case, you might be better off with the pop variety. Do you smoke? Well, can I just have the prescription? Well, there's the, uh, the female condom. Oh, yeah, my husband would love that. <sighs> Look, it doesn't matter. I'll just get it somewhere else. Hey, what's the matter? I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean I'm to all right. you. No, you're not. But please sit down. Just take a few breaths. Is there anything else that you want to talk about? No. Are you sure? What about things at home? How are things with your husband? Yeah, fine. All right, you know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crazy. Hey, hey, it's fine. You take as long as you need. <laughs> why don't we let Mrs. Patterson compose herself in reception? She's fine here. We haven't got any other patients. <laughs> Fine, if you will excuse me. Can I see? That is really nasty. How did this happen? I fell over. You fell over? Yeah. On your face? I, I tripped, I tripped over something. Okay. Are you hurt anywhere else? No. 
Are you sure? What about internally? What? No. Anything that you tell me is completely confidential. You can tell me anything you want to. Lynette, when you said you had intercourse last night, was it consensual? Dr Wilson, a word. Uh, I should go. I need to go and see my friend. Lynette, please. Please, don't. Why did you let her go? What the hell were you asking her? She's been raped. It's obvious. How is it obvious? What planet are you on? What? She came in asking for emergency contraception. She wasn't opening up. She was hiding something. She didn't listen to you going on about jabbing rods in her arm. Oh, yeah, but why? Because it's the last thing on her mind if she's been punched in the face by her Neanderthal husband. You don't know anything about him. She was about to disclose. She couldn't wait to get out of here. If you weren't so hung up on your own agenda, Freya. Oh, you are so blinkered. You just can't see it. It's the blame culture, you just... You don't trust your own instincts. Oh, my instincts are in very good nick, thank you very much. Would you like me to tell you what they're telling me about you right now? I think I should get some fresh air. Lynette? It's Dr. Wilson. Oh, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Did you see your friend? Don't you want to go home, darling? No. I'm not going back there. Okay. Let me get your hanky. Uh, it's a napkin from the Indian. You have to do. But I've got, I've got some chocolate. Do you want to split it? Okay. Hiya. You said it were right to come back that you see me. Yeah, Dr. Carmichael will see you, but the surgery doesn't actually open till four. Oh, I'll wait then. Um, you can't actually wait here, but there is a cafe around the corner. Okay, if you say so. Uh, wait, let me just check. No. Dr. Carmichael doesn't actually have any appointments left today. You could come back tomorrow at 5.20. Oh, for pity's sake. I will see her now. You said no. Yeah, and then he just belted me one. Lynette, when when you came here before, you you asked for the emergency contraception pill. Yeah. So you did have sex. Well, he's a big bloke, my old man. You know, if he wants it, there ain't much he can do. Lynette, you're telling us your husband raped you. Not enough evidence. It's, it's pathetic. It shouldn't be up to the CPS anyway. Freya. What kind of message is that sending out? She asked me for help. She confided in me, which is what we're always asking women to do anyway. But according to Jimmy, she's just wasted her time. So, do you think you were realistic in managing her expectations? What expectations? She didn't have any. With thousands of patients on the surgery list, you simply can't afford to get involved with every one. Most of those we never see. It's got nothing to do with time. It's about objectivity. Making accurate judgments which aren't clouded by emotion. If you get to know your patients, you stand a better chance of diagnosing what's wrong with them. That's a proven fact. You should read one of my research projects. Oh, that is uni. Those losers haven't practiced for years. Uh, let's not forget that I found out what's wrong with her, which, no offence, that's more than you did. I was observing, remember, so you have no idea what I would have done. She said she didn't like you. She thought you looked down your nose at her. As opposed to what? Getting down in the hood? Don't blame me if I can relate to people. You owe it to every one of your patients to walk in their shoes. Oh, please. No, what? what? Why? Why can't you just accept that I helped a woman who has probably been suffering for years? You haven't helped her at all. You pushed her into a medical exam without giving her any chance of a get out. You trod on the toes of trained professionals by sticking to her like glue. And throughout this entire marathon period, you failed to point out that only a tiny percentage of rape reports ever result in a conviction. Go home. Write it up. 20 things you'd do differently next time. On my desk by Monday morning. Okay. But can I do 20 things I did right as well? You're not going to believe this. 
I phoned the police just to see how everything's progressing. Okay. Lynette has dropped all charges. She's going back to him. Freya, I admire your passion. I really do. You listened to Lynette, you took her seriously. Well, of course I did. Why wouldn't I? So now she knows she has someone she can turn to if there really is a problem with her marriage. What do you mean if there really is a problem? I just think it was a little tricky trying to get a handle on that situation. Perfectly clear to me, her husband raped her. What, you didn't believe her? On balance, no. I don't think I did. Zara! So, you're in the middle of an interesting case. I never gave you that idea. I was under the impression that all my patients had the same old tedious problems as ever. I had a little update on Freya's blog. Her blog? Mm -hmm. It's completely one-sided. Yeah. He's gone out the window. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throttle her. What on earth are you playing at? It's okay. It is not okay. You do not betray a patient's confidentiality. Never, ever. I've changed her name. Hardly. I know who you're talking about and so will she. I'm trying to help her. In cases like this, I think the end justifies the means. This isn't a war. Yes, it is. It's a war on all the men who think they can get away with it. You do not use a patient's private information to let off steam, start a crusade, or whatever it is you think you're doing. Sarah, this is important. No, patients are important. Have I made myself clear? Yes. Good. So take it down before anyone else sees it. What, now? Yes, now. Right, how do I find this blog? Where is she? I'm sorry. I want to see Dr. Wilson now. I told you things that were private. I know. You've got no right doing this to me. Lynette, please. Come through. I know Dr. Wilson regrets this. She was genuinely trying to help. Well, I don't remember asking for it. I should have asked if you were okay with it first. Oh, yeah, too right you should. Because you're a nosy cow, aren't you? Okay, that is quite unnecessary, Ms. Patterson. Well, sorry, but anything I tell her ends up broadcast over internet. Oh, you have my word. Right then. Jason didn't rape me. It weren't true, none of it. Are you covering for it? Crying out loud, no, I'm telling you the truth, all right. He slept with my best mate, I was mad at him. You have done all of this to upset him. Yeah, get back at him, why not? You put the idea in me, yeah. What about your bruises? <laughs> I got leathered the night before, fell off at stage at karaoke, all right. <laughs> you lied to us. You wasted our time, you wasted the police's time, and yet you still seem to think that this is somehow our fault? Well, she put me up to it. You had a choice, Lynette, and you chose to lie. No wonder rape's so difficult to prove with idiots like you running around accusing innocent men. I dropped the charges, didn't I? Do you have any idea how difficult it is for women who have actually been raped? Do you? Think about them. Their hurt, their pain, their shame. It takes guts to stand up to a rapist. And then people like you, who cry rape for fun, make it ten times more difficult and you ruin their chances for justice. So why don't you go home and think about that? May I suggest you find yourself another doctor?